Now, only a select few get inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame, and one of its most recent inductees was in Hampton Roads recently. Chris Reckling has that story from Virginia Beach. Relax your body. He is Perfect. energetic. Relax. Skip and hop. Confident. They've got such weird motions. And charismatic. Nick Boletari is always a man in motion. So most people reach good volleys, move to the ball with their feet. Much better. The legendary tennis coach has guided thousands of players over many decades of teaching. Nick Boletari has pretty much been responsible for some of the best players in our tennis industries. Monica Sellis, Andre Agassi, Jim Courier. He's worked with Boris Becker, the Williams sisters. Boletari was at the Cape Henry Racquet Club this week giving lessons and helping celebrate the club's 40th anniversary. This just days after being inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Well, it's just beginning to hit a little bit to think that I'm one of only 230 that have gotten in it since 1954 from 20 countries. But the award doesn't belong to me, it belongs to the people that helped me be where I am today. In 1978, he opened the Nick Boletari Tennis Academy near Bradenton, Florida. Nine years later, he sold it to IMG, and it's now considered the top amateur sports training facility in the nation. And what we do at IMG, we try to prepare kids for life, and that's more important than just for a sport. As a young Italian boy growing up in New York, Boletari says his grandmother helped form his coaching philosophy. And my grandmother always told me to do things. Don't worry whether you did them well, bad, or indifferent, do things. Nick Boletari will turn 83 this month, but has showed no signs of slowing down. His impact on the game is secure, and he's proud of the legacy he has left behind. For helping people, giving hope to people, not to 10 number ones in the world, but making people excited that they can achieve in life. In Virginia Beach, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.